Max Payne was a detective with the NYPD cold case unit, but he was consumed by one case, the murder of his wife Michelle and their infant daughter Rose. Max's obsession had cost him his job, his friends, and even his sanity. He had reached a point where he had nothing left to lose, except his life. One day, Max's world was turned upside down when he was framed for the murder of an acquaintance of one of his informants. Max's wallet was found at the crime scene, and the NYPD came after him. Max's former partner, Alex Balder, was killed shortly after informing Max of a possible connection between the murder and his family's death. Max was left with no choice but to go underground. Max's investigation led him to Mona Sachs, a freelance assassin, and Natasha's sister. Together, they visited Natasha's tattoo parlor, where they learned the meaning behind Natasha's tattoo, which represented the wings of a Valkyrie. Max then found evidence that Michelle was involved with the development of Vorka, a drug produced by the ESA Corporation under military contract to create super soldiers. Max interrogated Michelle's former supervisor, Jason Colvin, at ESA's office and learned the truth about the project. However, Max's escape from the office attracted the attention of the NYPD and internal affairs. Max was left with no choice but to fight his way out of the building, with the help of Mona. Max and Mona then learned about Jack Lupino, a former Marine who was one of ESA's successful test subjects. Lupino was now a powerful gangster involved with the trafficking of Vorka as a designer drug. Max confronted Lupino at his warehouse hideout, but he was outmatched. Max was saved by BB. Issa's head of security and a father figure to Max, who killed Lupino. However, Max's savior was not what he seemed. BB had been secretly selling Vorka for personal profit and had killed Michelle to prevent her from exposing him. BB tried to drown Max in a faked suicide, but Max broke free and dived into the icy river. He consumed vials of Vorka stuffed in his pockets by BB which made him almost invincible but also caused him to see intense hallucinations. Max followed BB back to the ESA Corporation's headquarters, where he was assisted by Mona in shooting his way through the building's security. Max finally confronted and killed BB on the building's helipad, but he was ready to die. He saw a vision of his wife and child smiling at him, and suddenly came to, as the sun cut through the clouds and a SWAT team surrounded him. In a post credit scene, Max and Mona were seen in a bar. Mona showed Max a newspaper with ESA's CEO Nicole Horn's picture on the front. Max and Mona then looked at each other with understanding and renewed purpose. Max had finally found closure and was ready to move on, but he knew that he would always be haunted by the memory of his wife and daughter.